Morning guys, uh, just about to get my banana um, and then I'm going to start T25 abs intervals. I'm nervous about the abs intervals because obviously since my surgery I have to be careful with my abdomen and um, I can still do a lot of the workouts but I just need to be careful and make sure I hold in my core and um, so, so I'm protecting the abdomen and the back as well but um, yeah I'm, I'm a little bit nervous but it should be fun. I don't know whether it's going to be sit down stuff, you know like sit ups you know, on the floor or if it's going to be stood up or a mixture of both, don't know but we shall see. So yes I'm going to have my water and my banana and then I'm going to go. Wow. That was really good. It was like, there was a lot of floor work, but there was also like intervals of running and stuff. And there was only a bit that I couldn't really do. So during that time, I just did like push ups, but like modified push ups, because I still just, my arms are just the weakest part of me. I've got relatively strong legs, but it's my legs, uh, my arms are just ridiculously weak. So when I do a push up, it has to be on my knees. Um, so yeah, but little success of the day, I was able to do like several burpees in a row and not want to die. I've, ne I've always struggled with burpees, again, because my arms are so weak and my core's weak because of, you know, it's, it's just, yeah, had to cut through it. So my, my abdominals aren't exactly the strongest, my arms aren't the strongest, my legs, they're strong-ish, but they're not, I mean, they're not amazing, but they're stronger than my arms. So the fact that I could do a burpee, I was just like, <laughs> yeah. So um, I may start doing that like in the evenings, like obviously I'll do my T25 in the morning but then in the evening maybe just do like a few burpees just to kind of stay on top of it and improve my technique. So uh, that's the plan anyway but I'm just so pleased that I was able to do burpees, <laughs> you have no idea. Oh. Um, so anyway I'm going to get my protein shake uh, and the one I'm using is the one I've been using for ages, um, it's this, it's the Body Supreme Whey Protein and it's in chocolate and they do a strawberry one as well. The reason is because it's at Asda and I only really shop at Asda for like everything. So um, yeah, that's the one I use. They, they, I think they've also got Maxi Muscle there but it's more expensive so I'm obviously going to go for the cheaper one. Um, so um, I'll just find my cup. Um, so the, the cup I use is actually a Maxi Muscle one. <laughs> but yeah. So and all you do is you put in, with this one anyway, you put in 200 mils of cold water you can put milk in or like juice, but I just use water. Um, and then one scoop of this protein powder and then shake it and then you've got a protein shake thing. And then I just enjoy, I forgot to say that I added cinnamon in um, because chocolate and cinnamon is like oh, the best. So, um, and plus cinnamon apparently has good uh, meta oh, metabolism boosting properties. Um, all I know is that it tastes nice. So, um, yeah. Um, I, I like having that as a snack with um, not just cinnamon, obviously. I mean, um, when I have apple, if I cut up some sort of apple and then I'll coat it in cinnamon, because apple and cinnamon. Cinnamon? <laughs> because apple and cinnamon is just awesome and uh, it reminds me of apple pie but obviously without the pie bit it's just the apple and in fact if you uh, microwave the apple so it goes a little bit soft as well that's like having apple pie yeah I was experimenting um, with my straighteners because it had been a while since I've actually done any kind of proper heat styling and um, I used a really good conditioner you can just see how shiny it is but um, it's a Tresemme one, it's, I can't remember what it's called, I'll, I'll find it later and I'll show you. Uh, but I use it this morning, it's like a mask and you put it in and you leave it in for five minutes and then when you rinse it, I've never had my hair, at home, I've never had my hair that soft before. Um, so I thought, I'd ruin it with heat, no, no, no. I thought I would, um, I'd just style it, well, I've got some heat protective spray anyway, but I thought I would just style it a bit and do something different. Um, 
so yes. Um, and I've also filmed a uh, video ready for the new schedule that I'm starting next week, which is um, on Monday, it's Austin Monday. On Tuesday, it's Beauty Tuesday, which is basically any kind of thing that either I, I review a beauty product or I um, have a beauty haul or I do a tutorial and I say a tutorial I don't mean like this is the way that everyone has to do it it's more like this is the way I do it so um, yeah so I did a, um, a video for Beauty Tuesday that can be difficult to say Beauty Tuesday um, and then I've also got Wednesday uh, Wedding Wednesday I need to remember the names of my own like um, series but yeah so uh, wedding Wednesday is basically the fact that I'm going to be doing wedding vlogs and it'll just be like a weekly update to say what's been done recently if nothing has happened you know if I've not done anything specific I will say it but it'll just be a nice short video but um, if obviously if I've done something relating to the wedding that week then I'll talk all about it so that is the schedule um, but anyway I'm going to have my breakfast and I'm thinking egg again I'm thinking omelette I'm feeling an omelette um, and then I'm going to start my working day. <sighs> well it is lunchtime and I'm going to, uh, well I've just coated some vegetables with some extra virgin olive oil um, it said to use a, t a, t a tablespoon and I was like hmm is that going to be enough so I, well, I thought well I'll stick to what it says and then if I have to add more I will and it's it's plenty it's perfect so usually in my old self I would just get the bottle you know I would just do this and just drizzle it and not pay attention to how much that I'm using and you know compared to like looking at a tablespoon and compared to what I would usually put I used to put on so much oil and like no wonder I've you know become overweight because I don't well I didn't pay attention to what I was actually eating so I'm actually you know I'm pretty proud that I stuck to the recommended uh, amount and that it's plenty and it's gonna taste gorgeous and I'm getting my veg and yeah I'm really pleased that I, I um, like sort of measured what I'm having because then it's also easier to put it into my fitness pal which by the way I've got my fitness pal again so if you want to add me uh, my username is Tyler Sky uh, so search for me and uh, add me because I need all the support I can get. So I'm gonna do this and then uh, that's gonna roast for half an hour and then I think I'm going to do some of the beef with it because I've still got some left over. So I'm gonna quickly stir fry it and then I'll add those to the beef, finish it off in the pan and then serve that. Ooh, yes, that sounds lovely. Um, so yeah, that's my lunchtime planned. I'm so excited about this. It smells amazing. Um, but I actually made enough for two. <laughs> so that was an, an, an accident. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have one for lunch and then maybe one for dinner or I'll leave it for tomorrow to have for lunch tomorrow. Um, again, my old self would just ram down like two portions worth um, in one go. But no, I've changed. <laughs> I'm being good. So I'm gonna have one portion for one person um, and then save the rest of it for either later or for tomorrow. But it smells so good, I have to have it now. Now a little tip for all those ostomates out there that when they change their bag, marshmallows. I know they're full of sugar, but it completely slows down the digestive system, so it gives you time to change your bag before anything happens. So um, yeah, if you hadn't already, if you didn't already know that, that's, you know, a tip. So uh, I'm going to change my bag, but before that, I'm going to have my marshmallows. I have a lovely cup of tea, and I also have the hiccups, so if I hiccup, I apologise. Had a great day today, and tomorrow is Friday, which means Chris comes home. <laughs> so uh, I can't wait to see him. Oh. <laughs> but for now, I shall see you in my next video.